So this is the upside of windsurf over things like lovable.dev and bolt.new is things can be done all in one. So one prompt, getting it to make these tools, you can see is doing each of these files. So you've got 87 lines of code, 62, 155, and minus zero in all of them. That means it's creating each of these files. Let's create the VAT calculator um, and so on and so forth. It's creating them all within the one prompt. So you can essentially cram more information into the prompt. I wouldn't recommend cramming too much. But as you can see, it's created the five calculators. So all within the one prompt, it's added them to the footer. I'm going to click on it and check it out. It's created the tools. It's taken into consideration everything I've said. So the name of the page, the URL of the page, it's taken everything into account within the one prompt. So that's one of the main upsides of using Windsurf over something like Lovable. But again, you want to build the front end out in Lovable and then take it over to Windsurf or uh, Cursor or any of those, whichever one you're most happy with. Uh, you want to take it over and then let it do the rest. While I've got your attention, I'm putting together a masterclass. Now, I'm still fleshing this out at the moment, but I've been getting emails upon emails upon emails. So it makes the most sense to do a deep dive and cover everything I can't cover on these videos. It's gonna help you go from idea to MVP. And at the very end, you'll have that idea that you've always wanted to create finally in concrete form. We're going to utilize all of these tools we can create for SEO and dynamic content for scale. I can help you skip through all of the hours of pain that I went through and just get it done. So if you want 2025 to be the year that you finally build the thing, the link is in the description to register your interest and I will keep you posted. So Windsurf's pricing model and credit system is a bit different to lovable and bolt.new i think it's closer to lovable because lovable do messages but these are credits so every action every task it's going to take a credit so these do go out quite quickly but 3000 compared to you know what you're getting from lovable is a lot more but you are having to use those credits to correct errors, issues, and everything in between. The good thing is you've got these uh, unlimited or infinite credits for Cascade. Uh, if you're new to the tool, even for me now, I've been using it for a while and these kind of, the, the classifications on these credits are still quite confusing. But what I do know is when I run out of flow action credits, I absolutely need to buy flex credits. So it does allow you to purchase additional flex credits. Um, but as you can see, these, just like the flow action credits, these do run out. So uh, yeah, the pricing model is completely different, but you can do a lot more within the prompt that you give it. So once you learn how to prompt engineer and uh, talk to it, and you know exactly what you want to do, you're not wasting credits on one thing at a time. So that's the upside. Now I am in the process of doing a tutorial for Windsurf or more specifically going from both Lovable and Bolt.new or Lovable or Bolt.new over to Windsurf so you can build out the back end. Uh, I'm in the process of doing that tutorial. Although I do believe it is a simple handoff, I can see how it might be a bit intimidating. You also have more opportunity to break things if you don't know what you're doing. But what I will say is that this is where having a changelog.md and roadmap.md created while you're using Lovable is going to be a game changer because you can reference any file. So this is your entire file system when Lovable's creating all the code, these are the things you're not seeing until you send it over to GitHub. So these are all the files that have been created, except for the tools that I've just created in Windsurf, but everything else has been created in Lovable. Now, if I had Lovable create a changelog at the time, I can reference it. So I can right click on the file and I can go to copy path or I can mention it or a code block in the chat section. So I can just say at hustle, and as you can see, I can select any component, any chunk of code, and you can even select code and talk to it. So there are many, many opportunities to go deeper into anything you're doing within Windsor. 
You just have to know when it's time to leave Lovable or leave Vault and really start to build out the back end. 